Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves to track, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your pardon. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, alright? I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. Uncle Halvar, hello. Hadvar? What are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores, boats? What happened to you, boy? Are you in Shh, some uncle, kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius as god. We were stopped in Helgen, when we were attacked. By a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Jarl Balgraf? He rules White Run Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Of course, Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. 
Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No, Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire, and the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then... Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. I... Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, well, child. Don't pester your cousin. You two make yourselves at home. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to Solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to Whiterun, just down the road from here. From there you can take a carriage to Solitude. Just head north, you can't miss it. It's the capital of Whiterun Hold, the biggest and the best of the Nine Holds of Skyrim. But don't take my word for it. You didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Right, the leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom, but the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. You haven't heard of the civil war in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support, so a few months ago he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence that the first dragon anyone seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers like he knew we were coming. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil, but I guess the general changed his mind. You know the rest. I guess that wasn't such a big deal elsewhere in the Empire, but here it's caused a lot of resentment. Native son and all that. Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. Then where would Skyrim be? That's the pot that Ulfric's supporters always conveniently forget about. Unless the Empire stands together, the Thalmor will destroy us all. Of course. I know today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion, but I hope you'll give us another chance. 
The Legion could really use someone like you, especially now. And if the Rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. I don't blame you for being angry about it. I would be too in your shoes. But it was all a mistake. You weren't supposed to be on that cart with those Stormcloak traitors. And the Imperial Legion needs your help, especially now with that dragon out there somewhere and Ulfric back on the loose. Sure, I understand. It's not easy to go from being executed by the Legion one day to joining up the next. But I think you'll see that the Legion is Skyrim's only hope for real peace right now. I know you'll make the right choice in the end. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Just follow the road north. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, turn left and the road will take you to the city gates. It's not far. We used to go to the market there every month or so, until the roads got so dangerous with the war and all. I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. There's enough trouble in the world without those Stormcloaks stirring up more. Alright then.